Okay, you don't put a dead person in the hospital. <laughs> dead, 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 alive, <laughs> dead, alive, dead, dead, alive. It tastes so good. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can't taste when you're a soul. No smell, no taste. <gasps> OMG, this is taste of heaven. <laughs> This is Estelle and Alice from Super Learning Sisters. Today we're going to have a movie trailer on Soul of, of Disney. Disney. Um, we're going to start with the summary. D a man called Joe Gardner who loves music dies because he falls in a manhole. He goes to this place called the Gray Beyond, which is a place people go when they die. But Joe didn't want to die, so he goes runs to, away. Yeah, he <laughs> runs away and then, and then he um land like ends up on a place called the Great Before, Before, which is where babies get their personalities before they're born. And interests. Yeah. Uh Joe Gardner meets a failed soul called 22 who is trying to get his spark. Joe really wants to get to Earth back. He asks for help and he goes to Earth, but there was a mistake, so the story is about that. And then during that process, they learn the true joy and the purpose of life and their um interests and stuff like that. And then um about the rating. As for the rating, uh, I give 4.7 out of 5 because the details were so vivid. Like when you concentrate, you can go to a whole on another world when you, um, which is a gathering of really concentrated people. Um, the details were really interesting. And, the, and I think this director sort of tried to explain the human mind, like how everybody has different characteristics and how they actually um, have different characteristics, even from when, when they're born, and stuff like that, and sparks and interests and purposes. They were so interesting. Uh, but then one thing was, I think the story, I will try to explain, but then it can include a spoiler, so I'm going to be very careful. Um, the story was something like switching their lives and I think it might have been more, I mean, better if, so in the end, this 22 gets a spark, but then I didn't really see what the spark was. And I think it might have been interesting to know what he's, his spark was. And also, in, um, I wonder who... But that's a spoiler. <laughs> um, okay. I wonder what will happen to uh to twenty two <laughs> after <laughs> uh, later on. Um, but I really liked it, and also my favorite scene was when this, you know, the hall of everything, and then there was everything, practically everything, tap dancing, pizza, baking, cake, singing, archery, stuff like that. And then it was so interesting to see everything like piled around in one hall. And then on, also the part was then a tutor and a soul was in the hall of everything to gain the soul's interest and spark. And then well, a goal bounces on his head and he's like, ooh, and a spark is formed. It was so interesting to see that. I think it's the same fascinating feeling when when you see a bird hatching from an egg or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty fascinating, so I really like that scene. So me, about the rating, I would give like four points. Um, nine out of five because it's one of my favorite movies like after um some kind of movies that i like so this movie it gave a lesson of, like never give up and it told us about the purpose of our life so that was pretty interesting and uh but the small thing is that um it kind of I, it's kind of hard to explain without spoiler, but 
um, there were kind of a mixed up things. Like, because it was kind of hard to explain why some things were like that and some things were like that. And my favorite scene was in 22, um, learn the purpose of people's life. 22, at first, he didn't want, really, didn't want to go to Earth. He wanted to he skip Earth. He called Earth a freaky planet. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part was when 22 learned the purpose of life because that was pretty entertaining. And it told me why um, people, people enjoy their um, lives, enjoy and, their lives like and people's purpose of life. And that kind of made me think of my purpose of life. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Really liked it. Yeah, we also liked it. He watched it with us on the floor. Um, yeah, I think that's it for our movie trailer today. Um, thank you. If you like this video, like this video. For more content like this, subscribe. And if you have any recommendations for us, put it on the comments with no hesitation. And bye. Bye. I really liked it. Like, the details like little details of where their souls go and they really really concentrate and what the, what, what they become what their souls become when they are, are too obsessed with them, something and it was pretty interesting and pretty good but then the thing is uh the story i didn't really like it and one weird thing was that joe gardner this man like including when he fell into the manhole he he was dead you know but then he was still in the hospital i you don't put a dead person in the hospital <laughs> that was a little bit weird and also joe gardner was like dead and became alive for like three times <laughs> So he was dead and then could live again. Dead, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, dead alive. alive. Three times, so it's pretty weird. The ending, it's kind of scary for me. Well, I can't say it because it's like a spoiler. Yeah, but um, it's kind of scary. It's not that scary. Yeah, and then our favorite part, I think my favorite part was when Joe like really, really concentrates when he's playing piano and he's like, do, I'm playing it and then he really really concentrates only to that object that he and the piano just floats away in a soul and then um everywhere becomes like blue and purple light surrounds him and stuff like that that was my favorite and my favorite part is when the 22 eats pizza he was like it tastes so yeah. Uh, if you watch the movie trailer, you might know, like, the original one by Disney. You might know because, you might know why. Because in that movie trailer, 22, the little soul, the babyish soul is like, you can't taste when you're a soul. No smell, no taste, no feeling. Um, he's, he's like, like <laughs> <"I'm> kidding, Joe. <laughs> so my God. Um. You might see it, so that's why he never tasted pizza before. And then when he tastes pizza, he's like, "Oh, OMG, this is taste of heaven." <laughs> that's so funny.